What's going on everybody? Bones here with Cajun Our New Barbecue. Hope you're doing fine. Y'all know I'm making it. If you're new here, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing. It really helps out. Today, we're doing up a thermometer throwdown. It's the TP25 by Thermapro by and the Meat Stick X by the Meat Stick Company. Let's begin. First off, the Thermapro TP25. It's a wired thermometer, comes with four probes. You can do any combination of checking for meat to checking ambient temperature of your pit. It has a sealed battery inside that lasts on a full charge can last up to eight months according to what they claim on the thing. Now I charge this thing once every three or four months and I use this thing religiously and I pretty much never see the battery go down past half and I've done some pretty long cooks with it. So there. Now the price of this on Amazon costs $60. Right now they're running a special for it for $50. It does come with an app. The power to recharge it comes with a little p power plug adapter to a HDMI. So all you need is one of the little cubes and you're off and running. I'll show you the app in a second. The Meat Stick X. It comes with one probe, the base, which also acts as a charger. Let's talk about the charger for a second. Takes two AA batteries. When you put the probe back onto the base and you press the little button solid green means you're good to go the battery is good and the probe is fully charged flashing green means that you have some issue where it needs some more charging to go flashing red means that it needs a lot of charging to go and then solid red means that you need to change the batteries. On a full charge, the Meat Stick X will last up to 24 hours. Now, the initial charge of this only took four hours to do a full charge. So I'm guessing that it only takes four hours to charge up your meat stick. Now, the silver part here goes into your meat to check the temperature. The ceramic part here checks your ambient temperature. So you don't need, from the, like the Thermapro here, you would need two wires, one to check your meat, one to check your ambient. This does it both at the same time. Now, the ceramic part is good for a direct flame up to 572 degrees. The stainless part, according to what I read in the directions, can handle a direct flame of up to 212 degrees. Now it can read higher temperatures than 212, but it can only withstand a direct flame of up to 212. The price point of one of those is $99. Now they do have a cheaper model, which I'll get to that in a second. The Thermapro has a range of 500 feet, which is good for me because my shack that I do all my cooking 
is about 500 plus feet away from my house but I never leave my area to begin with so it doesn't really matter the third the meat stick is 260 feet which is its range from you to a phone for Bluetooth now the original meat stick that they sell for $60 I'm sorry $69 only has a range of 33 feet now they do sell a another option where it's two meat stick X's plus a wall unit for your Wi-Fi that you have to have it plugged in to an outlet six feet away from where you're working at and that will transfer to your router device and will then allow you to monitor it on your app wherever you, you want to travel to. Now that option is $199. So take that wherever you want to go with it. Let's go ahead and talk about the apps now. The Thermapro app allows you to check four and only four different probes. Now in that app you can check a multitude of different items and you can also create your own specific items to cook. Alright so meat stick is finally connected back to the to the app. I'm gonna go ahead and start cook, press start cooking. It's got air fry, oven, stove top, grill, smoke, sous vide, and deep fry. In there, it's got many other different avenues of what you want to cook. You can adjust the different temperatures on there, but there is no setting to where you can make your own set cook. So that'll be something that I'll address with them because you know I want to have a different preset you know so that'll be something that I'll talk with them about but today we'll start I'll do it all in this one video but today we're gonna go ahead and do steaks see how it pairs up against each other all right so we got two nice thick cut New York strip steaks here we're gonna go with some little Uncle Steve's thick meat shake go ahead and pat that down Everybody knows some Uncle Steve's. And the Thermapro one. I'm going to go ahead and put that one in there. Now the meat stick one. Gotta put it all the way up to the ceramic part. There we go. We're doing steak over here for the Thermapro one. So we hit that. I'm doing for 110. Hit set. So as you can see, steak is reading 39 degrees. We're going for 110 right now. This is the meat stick one. We're going to do grill. We're going to do beef, steak.
looking for 110 sending the cook to the meat stick We're going to go ahead and put down our meat stick one here. Now we're going to go ahead and put down our Thermapro. We're going to smoke it to 110. Then we're going to go ahead and pull them and sear them. Alright, hopefully you all can see this pretty well. The meat stick one is reading 83 degrees right now. While the Thermapro one is reading 79 degrees. Well, now it's reading 80. Usually, whenever I attempt the steaks with the Thermapro one, they always come out overdone when I'm shooting for it. So, I'm hopefully going to have them coming up more on temp now, seeing as they're running with it. So I'm going to pull the meat stick one when it hits temp and do it that way. The meat stick one has reached temp. So we're going to go ahead and pull it. The other one is still 10 degrees away. The Thermapro steak is now done. So we're going to go ahead and pull that one now. We're now going to go ahead and sear both of these steaks off at the same time. We're looking for 125. Alright, we down on that one. Thermo Pro 1. And we're done on that one. All right, I'll let them rest for five minutes. Let's go ahead and take a cut and see what we got. All right. Let them rest for a little too long. This one here, made by the meat stick, I'd go with that one. This other one, not too much. All right, now we do the taste test. First up, Thumber Pro. About medium, not very moist, not very juicy, but a little tough. Let's go with the one from Meat Stick. Very moist, very juicy, kind of fell apart in the mouth, so nice mouth feel. Meat stick won that round. Now we move on to rotisserie chicken. Well, since the meat stick is wireless and the other one is wired, the meat stick is the only one that's going to be able to participate in this next round. So.